Alright, so the first step is to use an 8x8 pan. Guess what? Don't have an 8x8 pan. Well, I do, but it's at somebody else's house because I had me dip in it for a party. So, I'm using a bread pan, but you line it with parchment. Only difference is mine's going to be a little bit thicker, like higher than yours in the pan. That's fine. Um, so, you want to make sure that both edges are covered with the parchment. So, if you are using your 8x8 pan, you want to go this way with the parchment paper, and then you want to go this way with the parchment paper. So since I don't have a big enough microwave safe bowl, um, I'm using this Pyrex measuring cup. And what I did is I put half the can in and I put a cup and a half of the white chocolate chips in here to melt. So you're going to put it in the microwave, do 30 seconds at a time and just kind of mix it around until it's completely melted. not take that long it took two 30 seconds so one minute and then I did another 15 seconds one or two little teeny tiny pieces in there but I've done it to the point with white chocolate that it's actually going with this brown grossness so rather underdo it than overdo it because it's going to fall to the and get an extra of chocolate right so now I'm gonna pour some into this little cup and we're gonna mix a couple of colors in before we do the next round right, so you guys can see we did pink even okay if it's not mixed all the way through because remember it is unicorn fudge so if there's white streaks going through it even better we used these the Wilson food gel food colors and they actually have these really cool hot colors now I got that at Target it was three dollars for the four so Kenzie's favorite color is pink so I did more pink than I did teal I guess it's gonna depend on your kids what color you do but I just want to swirl it through. So I think Kenzie's gonna get a kick out of this. All right, so now I'm going to buy, and that's kind of cool because I mean like a purple color. Isn't that awesome? Like that is so rainbow. Um, sorry, so unicorn fudge. I love it. All right, so I'm gonna make do the next batch. I gotta wash all of that out first though. And I'm gonna do the purple and the orange on the top. Okay, so that is the purple and the orange. And I'm just gonna pour them in and swirl them just like I did on the pink and the teal. Okay, so that is the purple and the orange. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit layered. So once it sets up, I'll pull it out and show you. So while I'm waiting for that to um, set up a little bit, you have to put sprinkles on it to make it more unicorn like. This was awesome. These sprinkles were on clearance at Michael's for 30 cents a package. So I got a couple of different ones, but I think I'm just going to put these two on it and save these two for like another project. Just because this one has like all the different colors in it. And again, pink and purple, Kenzie's favorite. So you got to add a little extra splash of her favorite. These are in the shape of little candies. So it's going to be perfect for unicorn fudge. Okay, so I put it in the fridge for a little bit. It's not completely set. As you can see, it's still moving a little bit. I didn't completely split the condensed sweet and milk half and half. So I think the bottom layer is probably going to be thicker than the top. I'm hoping, though, once it completely sets it, I'll still be able to cut it in eat it because I'm sure it's going to taste yummy no matter what. So I'm going to put some sprinkles on the top. Okay, so I know it doesn't look that appetizing, but the whole popularity with unicorns is the whole unicorn poop thing. So <laughs> this is unicorn poop fudge. Um, the colors aren't as crazy off camera. I wonder if it'll look different. Um, if I take off the flash maybe like that orange is more of a subtle orange and the purple is a little lighter than it's depicting so it doesn't look as crazy but anyway it doesn't matter because you can do whatever colors you decide on so then you're going to take its parchment paper and you're just going to lightly press the sprinkles in because you want them to stick okay guys so that is the fudge the um Unicorn fudge or unicorn poop fudge since unicorn poop has been very, very popular. 
I'm sure you guys all know that if you have any little ones. It does taste very yummy. Now remember I said I didn't quite do the ratio correctly when I did the two separate batches. So in the future when making it, I would do it in one large batch because you can see the top is kind of a little bit more gooey. It tastes more like a frosting on the top with fudge on the bottom. Very, very yummy. Very, very sweet. And for only having three ingredients, very, very easy. All right, everybody. So the recipe will be in the description. And if you have any comments as to what your favorite fudge recipe is, that'd be awesome. Also, any advice for mommy with a broken heart because her baby left her to go to school. That would be lovely too. All right. So everyone have a blessed day. And don't forget to subscribe and give our video a thumbs up. Thanks.